I'm sure most of you have at least heard of, if not seen, the hit Netflix show One Piece. Uh, came out, was it last year or two years ago? Um, anyway, One Piece is a live action version of the anime that um, I have yet taken the time to watch. I really need to at some point. I know there's a lot of episodes. There's a lot of seasons. It'll take up a lot of time, but I probably should watch it at some point in time when I have some time on my hands. Um, but what I want to get into here is this, and I found this over at thatparkplace.com. See, what One Piece, in my opinion, in the opinion of others, was a very, very, very good show. It was a very good adaptation of the anime, uh, the manga, if you will. And I was like, okay, this is good. Let's see how this goes with season two. Netflix really couldn't screw up a second season, could they? Well, thatparkplace.com put out an article just a couple days ago. One Piece, Netflix writer claims season two characters based on, you guessed it, Donald Trump. So here we go. You know... All I have to ask is why? Why do we have to take shows that debut, do really well, and then insert something political into it where it doesn't belong? So according to this article here by M. Montanero, a Netflix writer claims a One Piece season two character is based on Donald Trump, despite this character debuting in the manga, all the way back in 2000. Yeah, that was 15 years before Trump announced he was running for president. President-elect Donald Trump hasn't set foot in the White House yet, but Hollywood is already gearing up for more Orange Man bad narratives. A writer for the Netflix live-action One Piece series, which received critical plays nearly across the board, is trying to create parallels between Trump and a comical dictator character named Wapol. Spencer McCooley over at Bounding Into Comics, he's the editor-in-chief over there, gave an excellent description of the character, stating, introduced in the manga's 131st chapter all the way back in 2000, the stocky and purpled-haired Wapole is best described as a comically stereotypical dictator. His greatest accomplishment in life is being absolute... his absolute ruining of his inherited drum kingdom whose people have been left in a state of constant poverty, starvation, and sickness thanks to their monarch's own selfishness, as he regularly pillages the nation's resources in service of funding his own pleasures. Netflix One Piece staff writer Randy Troy is attempting to claim that manga writer Ichiro Oda had always intended Walpole to serve as a direct commentary on Trump. Now that is a stretch. That is a huge stretch sorry I don't buy it you that character was created in year 2000 this is despite the fact that he was first conceived in 2016 years before Trump would enter national politics in a meaningful way it was announced recently that Walpole will play a central villain role in the show's second season and that the main saints of Newark star Rob Coletti would play him. So here it is. This is the post from Randy Troy. One Piece Inspirations, the greedy and petulant Walpole is based on Donald Trump, whose family name comes from the German Drumpf, hence where Drum gets his name. In an almost prophetic term to o turn to Oda, Trump's U.S. policies were are riddled with health care management issues. What? Whatever Randy Troy's smoking, give me some, please. Please? I mean, th this, is, this is absolutely insane. In his since-deleted ex-post, pictured above, which I just read, of course, he was immediately hit with a community note, which pointed out that Oda had previously stated that in the One Piece logbooks that the inspiration for Drum Island came from Drum Rock in Canada soon after the post went poof, vanished from X. 
One day I read a book and found a photo of Drum Rock. Go to said the 25th log book for One Piece. If I remember correctly, Drum Rock is located in Canada. The rock looked cool, so I drew an island called Drum Island with a mountain called Drum Rocky. Thus, the so-called Chopper Arc started. When someone pointed out that Walpole first appeared during a time in which Trump had no impact on politics, Troy doubled down. He planted the seeds as early as 1986 leading to many jokes about him as U.S. president in pop culture well into the early 2000s when Drum was serialized, he said. Even the famous Simpsons episode, Arc to the Future, referenced this idea predating the start of the Drum arc. Wow, dude, you had to reach way back to 1986. You know what Trump was doing in 1986? That was about the time of the USFL. Okay? There were many times in the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s that people would a had asked Trump, hey, maybe you should run for president. And every one of those times he was, nah, not interested. That was until 2015 when he came down that golden escalator in Trump Tower in New York City. So I'm going to leave it up to you folks here on YouTube. Um, and it's the same questions that are in the, in the article here on That Park Place. Do you believe Randy Troy? Is there a connection between One Piece and Donald Trump? Or would you rather believe the guy who wrote One Piece? Who stated specifically that the idea for Drum Island came from Drum Rock in Canada. So comment in the comment section down below. While you're at it, if you would, please take the time to support the channel. Smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys.